Bears, we're doing a little bit of a different video today. I'm going to cover over the three programs in which I use in order to be able to edit videos. And they are free. In fact, uh, one of them is available for OpenSoft somewhere. And that will be the first one we'll be looking at, which is on my screen here, which is OpenShot Video Editor. Now, this is actually pretty neat. This uh, program will be able to uh, edit out um, 4K videos. So it does take a while for it to render it and import it into its library, so that way it's there. You don't get an indication at all of where it's at or the progress of it, which is one of the downfalls on this program. Uh, a few of the other programs which I use, you can actually see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this from my project. We're going to add a video. We're going to go over to my drive, go to my videos here, and we're just going to go ahead and grab Untitled Project. And with that, we're going to go ahead and toss that into here. Now, this video is actually pretty quick, so it doesn't have a problem with being able to decode it, so that way we can go ahead and edit it. But I do recommend having a computer that's got something above, well, my gaming computer's got 24 gigs in memory, so I recommend 24 or above. Eight, it will take a while to be able to do that, to, well, for editing software. So we're going to do a few things here. Um, got animated titles. We're going to go with that one. Now, as you can see, we got all sorts of animated titles we can use. Got Space Movie, which I don't want to use. That's just like the Star Wars one, in which I did the YouTube Wars video. Then we got, yeah, as you can see, it'll give you a quick little bit, and you can be able to make the editing that you want. It takes a while to render it just to be able to make this, because it's using 3D software on here. Then you got the animation length, and which you can change as well, which will take in a little bit more time. Now, unfortunately, dissolving text does not work, so we're not going to show that one. We're going to go with something a little bit, see, my title. I'll take it a few seconds to be able to load. Now, in order to be able to use a specific program, you actually have to have Blender installed on your computer. Now, Blender is a uh, 3D rendering software which needs to be installed to be able to use these features inside the animated titles. As you can see, animated titles powered by Blender. Then you can change the title, say like, Hello World. This is the same one in which I used for my uh, types of writer. In fact, that whole project, I made a whole bunch of little ones on here. When I click on render, it takes a while to render it. Then it'll put it inside here. So, uh, if you got a lot of time, I recommend doing that. But it does take a while. Now, the titles that do come inside here, you get various other ones as well. You can do a TV rating here. Let's change ours to R. We're going to save. It'll quickly render it. And it should appear up here shortly. Should be in the optimal word. Let's try that again. Maybe I didn't do something right. TV rating. Change it to R. I'll click on save. Got a feeling it's going to crash on me. And that does happen. Now, you can change how you want to be able to do things. You can crop the width here. Look at that. Cropping the width at the bottom. I can change out how I want to do it from the top. You can make the changes here. And if I want to, you can separate, I'll separate the audio. Go with the single clip, makes it a lot easier to work with. 
Then you can shrink this down so that way you could see a little bit more of it on here. You hit the control button and then you can use the mouse scroll on here. You can change the, you can do the alpha mask on here. It's like, I don't want to see that on here, so I'm going to remove that clip. Go for alpha mask. It takes a while in order to be able to render these transi transitions. And let's go negative on here as well. That changes that. Get rid of the alpha on here. You can click on the indicator and remove it. Remove that as well. And if you're happy with what you, the work that you've done, you want a video, but you don't want to end up, uh, say, like, you don't want to have the audio inside here, if you're happy with the work, you click on that. And we're going to end up changing the, the format on here. Let's change the profile. We're going to go with the web. It gives you the various different ones in which you can use for web. Let's go with YouTube HD. It'll change it over to the video profile in which it will need to be done. Then you can export the video. Do I want to replace it? No. We're going to end up changing it to something else. We'll call it test. Then it'll save it to that location. Yes, that one will change. Because you don't want to change it from the untitled project because you already have one named that. And then what this will do is render it to high definition. Fortunately, it won't increase the video to high definition. I believe on this one I use 1080p for this video. Now FlipNow recommends using 4K on your videos. And I recommend it as well. That's a nice thing which you can actually do with this is it will decompile it. Now my other two programs in which I use doesn't, don't decompile 4K that well unless you uh, purchase a specific codex for it, which costs 99 cents over at the Microsoft Store. But that's pretty much this program here. It does various, it just you can play around with it for editing, but I do prefer this over, especially when I got 4K videos. It makes it a lot easier for me to be able to record what I need to record. Or transition what I need to. Then you can change it into the specific profile. In fact, one of the things which I was doing was changing this uh, from 4K from here, then going over to my media player my Windows Media Player, and then doing the editing that I wanted to do. It just depends on what you want to do. And consistency format, but it's a free program, so I'm not going to knock it. But, yes, uh, we'll move on to the next one. Now... This is the other one in which I use. There is one more in which I do use. Wants me to be able to select a file. I'll go choose my file here. Let's go with the same one in which I had just rendered from the other one. I'll go with untitled project. Now this one will do is uh, it gives you a progress bar of what it takes to get into here. Video is only 41 seconds. It's in here. Now you can add captions to it if you want. Say like, hello. You can change the text. Now I did, one of the things is I'm a Grand Theft Auto fan. And what they use in there is called Price Down and Price Down BL. I 
hello here. I'm going to change the color. Select the outline. Then I'll change what color I want the outline to be. I choose black. And now it says hello. It only lasts for a certain amount of time, say like seven seconds, in which it displays on here. You can adjust the time on here, have the start time, wherever you want to have it. One of the nice things is, is that you can also, you have limited animation on here and limited effects on here. It's probably why it wasn't so popular. Say like I want to pixelate. I'm going to grab it, pixelate it. And how long am I going to run it for? Let's see. Video volume. You can change the volume on here. Then you can have it exit slow. But that's only if you end up having it as a clip here. See, if you have it in one, it's going to do it throughout the entire part. In fact, at the end of here, it'll fade out slow. Get your trim tool to see how long you want it to trim. And then what it does is uh, takes out specific parts of the video. And click cancel. You can view the waveform on here as well, and that you'll see. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you the option to be able to separate it like what open. OpenShot does, and that's one of the features in which I like about OpenShot. I could do it as large icons. You can change the icons inside here for the views. You can change the standard. You can emphasize the video or do narration on this as well. You can even change it, the aspect on here. Now, one of the things that they do, like what open source does, is it gives you titles gives you various places on what you want to do with the titles. You could do, you can change it to here for scrolling up. Do it to the sides. Spins around. Typically the default is this, is none. You can change how you want it to be. You can make it look like a Western by selecting that as a preview. And it'll go back for each one. You can preview it. Now it's black and white. So like you want to have the Quentin Tarantino look to it. Look at this. My movie. And then I'll just show that on there. And this is just a regular. As I said, the text tools are pretty nice. My movie. You can change how you want it. Just to test it out. Now this is available out there. I believe it is out on CNET. If you do a search for it, give me one second. I'll tell you where they might not have it shown where I saved it at, but I do happen to know what the package is called. Yep, it's the Windows underscore Media Feature Pack. I'll just stick it inside this video to show you. This is the name of what you can find it for. Now, Windows, I believe Microsoft no longer carries it, but you can find it out there. 
various sources. CNET's usually a good place to go to be able to get it, if you like. But this is what I use to edit some of my movies here. Go with features and such. Then, of course, you can save it by going over to here, save the movie. Now, this is limited on what you can do with it because it has the Windows 8. At the time, Windows 7, Windows 8. You can have high definition display, but unfortunately, it only does it a 920 by 1080. It is unfortunate, and that's the reason why they limited it. And that's where we come into the next one. Now, this is actually found in Photos. You want to click on OneDrive, go ahead and click on New Video, and New Video Project. And here, you can use this, save it as whatever, name the project, doesn't really matter. But you can add video to this as well, as the same way as you can grab the other ones. It's like, I want to add a video from my PC. So, I'll go ahead, grab that untitled project that I had. Then I can drag and drop that into here. Now this is where I can change, add, an, add a title card to it. And this is where I can actually edit the title. So I'll go ahead and click on text. This program is very unique. We'll call it my movie. You can change it, you can change it to however you like the script. Let's go with proper spelling here. And yeah, I got the caps out. So simple, love, joy, classic, adventure. Quiet, boom, cinema, bold, fresh, poetry, impact, Cartoon, pixel, electric, chilled, fine print. So we'll go over to adventure. Now we can change the layout on this as well. Which is nice. You can change the background color. It goes according to It'll change the colors as well. I'll go with black. It'll change this a little bit darker. It makes it so that way everything's visible. Go green. It still stays the same color, but the text is white. It's one of the unfortunate features in which I don't really care for this. It's not being able to change that. It's not it's like done. I could go back and click on text, but I can't edit the text color that I want. That's where it has its drawbacks at. You can add a custom color. Make it a little bit more bright. I'll change the impact of this. But unfortunately, it's kind of limited on what you can do here. Then we'll go ahead and click on cancel. Click OK. Then you can change how long that you want to have it. Three seconds, seven seconds. You can manually enter in. You can have it last for 30 seconds. Three seconds is usually a good duration for something like this. You can remove all by clicking on the three dots. The background won't change. Now we're coming into this. Do we want to add motion to this? How do we want to do this? 
tilt it up, right, expand it all the way out, go with none, do we add, add 3D effects? You can add explosions right here. You can time it out. Then And it gives you the audio on here too. Do you want it to be louder? It's like, yeah, I want it to be louder. So press on play. Do I want to be able to block it out from certain locations? Do I want some things to be blacked out so that way they can't be? Do I want to change the effect? Put like news on here. You can do many things with this. But it's all very limited. Candle flame. 3D effects. Got raging fire. Click that out. Go with that. And then that only lasts to a certain extent. has various different other effects inside here. Live sports, raging fire, got rain, I believe a snow effect that you could add in here. Make it look like it's snowing out. Go down to Florida and have it look like it's snowing out so you can feel, you can feel for the Northern Riders. <laughs> Got fireworks on here as well. Press play. Comes preloaded with various effects. And it's very neat. Got filters on here too. Got pearl filter, iceberg. You got your black and white, they call it inky. You got pixelated. Make it look like a bad video game, along with arcade, early video games, later video games. Change the colors. Can do all sorts of things with this, but typically I keep, like to keep my videos simple. And that's the three uh, programs in which I use. You can explore it. That come. These are Windows programs. Um, as you notice that the media, media movie, I believe it was, media movie maker, and uh, um, the photos are definitely uh, Microsoft proprietary. But that's pretty much what you uh, is what I use here. Since I have Microsoft products, I don't have Apple. The nice thing about OpenShot is is that you can actually use it for. I believe you can use it for Apple as well, and being open source. But these are the three editing programs that I use. Uh, I hope you like this video. And as always, ride safe, and I'll see you on the next ride.